This video reviews the different types of entities in Sapphira's SketchUp plugin and how they are used in analysis. Sapphira automatically takes a pass at interpreting the planes in your model. It's important that you check this interpretation to make sure that it's correct. Simply click on the Entity palette in the plugin and show entity types. The planes in your model will be color-coded to reflect the interpretation that Sapphira has provided. If an entity is incorrect, you can simply right-click on either a plane or a group, go to Sapphira plugin, and then re-tag as the appropriate entity. The entities are grouped into categories in the entity palette. Envelope entities should be used to tag the thermal envelope of the model, as well as floor plates and any shading that's on the exterior of the thermal envelope. Interior entities are used to tag internal walls and internal glazing, and those are really mainly applicable for daylight analysis, where you want to provide interior partitions that will block daylight. And ignored entities, of course, are not used for analysis at all. They're ignored entirely. This palette will also show you how many of each type of plane is identified, and that can help you identify any issues with the model if there are way more than a certain type of plane than you would expect to see. Finally, you can isolate plane types by clicking on the circle next to each one. And it can be very helpful to go through and look at each type individually uh, as a quick check to make sure that every plane has been interpreted correctly. Now let's talk about how each type of entity is used in analysis. Roof entities have thermal transfer between the interior and exterior, so they're the roof surface uh, in the thermal envelope. Similarly, walls have thermal transfer between the inside and outside, so they should only be used for exterior walls. If you have an interior wall, you should tag it as an internal wall. Floor plates are used to calculate the total square footage of the building, and square footage is also used uh, to calculate occupancy, lighting power, and equipment power of the building. So, only occupied floor area should be tagged as floor. Exterior elements, su such as balconies or sunshades, should be tagged as a shading element. So should small elements like window sills, which can often mistakenly be tagged as floors. So it's important to isolate the floor uh, type and look for those sorts of uh, small indicators that something might be incorrect. One other thing that can help you make sure that the floors are identified correctly is the number of floor plates that have been identified, shown here as well as the total floor area of the building that is shown in the analysis panel. If that floor area looks wrong, chances are uh, a fl uh, some plane has been misidentified, and you should go into the entity palette and retag it. One more thing on floors. The lowest floor plate of a building is automatically assumed to have contact with the ground. The next type is shading. This has no thermal transfer, but does block lighting. So anything exterior to the building envelope that should provide, can provide shading for a building should be tagged as shading. And that includes any elements such as surrounding buildings that may provide shading. You want to make sure that these entities are also tagged as shading elements. Next is glazing. You'll see two types of glazing in the entity palette, fixed and operable. These are both glazing that has thermal transfer to the inside, uh, between inside and outside, so should be used as part of the thermal envelope. And the only difference is how they're considered for natural ventilation calculations, which can, which can be done in the web application. Operable glazing can be opened and fixed cannot. And by default, all glazing is assigned as operable glazing. And finally, we have the interior types of entities. 
including interior walls and internal glazing. These have no thermal transfer between inside and outside and should only be used for interior partitions in the building. And this is primarily important for daylighting analysis, as I said, to block daylighting uh, going through what should be opaque uh, boundaries between rooms.